we're going to go over exercises you hate and are squatting shoes worth it. What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Manoon, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. And we're live. Welcome, everybody. My name is Coach Malik, and in today's episode of Malik's Fit Tips, we're going to go over exercises you hate and are squatting shoes worth it. All right, now we got to wait. This is live, so we are uh, got the Simba mug. Got the Simba mug back out. If you're going to watch this on replay, go to a minute and a half. Go to a minute and a half. That's when the content will start, a minute and a half. We're going to wait here and uh, get some people on here. Um, if you are coming on here and you have a question, remember... Questions at the end, Q&A. But today's video, we're going to go over exercises you hate. Because we all hate some exercises. And I'm not going to say everyone hates the burpee. But the burpee is one of them. The burpee's up there. But the question I got, um, which I'll explain in a second, was pretty much if you had to eliminate an exercise, exercise that you really despise, um, would it be bad to eliminate it altogether? So is it bad? For example, he says he hates perp. Um, Steve says he hates burpees with the push-up, and uh, he would take four push-ups over a burpee any day. So that's what we're gonna go over. Is it smart to eliminate an exercise you hate? Can you hear me? We we good? Just checking the mic, guys. We got Chris in the background, and uh, we gotta make sure that the mic is working. Minute and a half. Here we go. So today's question, again, if you're watching on replay, put down in the comments you watch on replay. But today's question is from Steve. He says, if you hate an exercise, like really despise it, is it bad to eliminate it altogether? Maybe I'll put it up right here as a little screenshot. And Steve, here's my opinion on getting rid of an exercise. So it depends on why you hate it. Right, depends on why you hate it. So if you hate the burpee, because it is a hard exercise, and a lot of people hate it. It's a little mix of cardio, it's a little mix of endurance. Um, and if you hate an exercise because it is hard, I would not recommend that you completely el- eliminate it. I would say try to progress at it. For example, when you start hitting legs, right? A lot of guys like to hit upper body. And then when they start hitting legs, they're weaker on the legs, so they're not a big fan of doing leg day. So they go and they do chest, they'll do arms, but they won't necessarily do legs because they are not a fan of legs. So they'll not do them as often. What I have seen is that as you work on those exercises that you're not as good at, uh, the exercise that you hate because you're not as good at, you actually become better at them. You actually become, uh, you can see your progress in those, in the burpees, in the deadlifts, in the squats, in the kettlebell swings, in the Turkish get-ups, you know, some of the hated exercises. Uh, and the one arm snatch with a dumbbell or kettlebell. When you get better at those, you start to see progress, and then you start to like them and enjoy them more. So what my first reaction to that is, all right, are you not liking them because they're difficult? And if that's the case, keep doing them. All right, Steve, keep doing them and get better at them, and then watch, you're gonna start to enjoy them a little bit more because they're, oh, I can do more burpees in a minute than I did last week. You know, I could do you know, more push-ups or whatever the exercise is that you hate. I could do more squats. You know, my legs are starting to feel a little bit better. I actually like squats a little bit better this week. You know, and you start to enjoy a little bit more if you keep going. So my first recommendation is don't, your first action shouldn't be eliminating it. But if you are trying it and you're doing the burpees or you're doing the thing that you hate and it's still, you're still not enjoying it, you're still not seeing progress after two months, three months, you know, you do it after maybe six months of your programming, now, after six months, you're like, you know, I've seen progress. I still don't like it. You know, I know I'm better at them, right? I can do more burpees now than I did six months ago, but I still don't like them. Um, in that case, yes, because you're not always going to like every exercise. You're not always going to like every workout. But yes, if you hate an exercise, you can get rid of it. You'll probably do it at some class if you go to a class anyway. Um, so totally it's fine. If you want to get rid of an exercise after trying it, after getting better at it, after at least attempting to try it. It's like when you, I don't like, um, 
You know, when people say, I don't like oysters, or I don't like fish, or I don't like, oh, it's okay. Do you try it? No. Now, how do you know? You never know until you try. So try it out. Try to get better at it. And then if you do try and you do get better at it, you still don't like it, then I would say, all right, you know, throw it in the trash. Give it to the cookie monster. You know, no, no, no more here, Steve. No more here. Um, but try it out first. All right, try it out first before you eliminate it. Second, uh, second question is squatting shoes worth it? Do they really make that much of a difference? I've tried putting thin weight plates under my heels before it felt uh, weird. Curious if any of you have uh, the shoes and if it's worth the money. Thoughts? David, squatting shoes. Here's my, because I used to do Olympic lifting, uh, you know, and they do a lot, you know, Olympic weightlifting. They, they use those shoes uh, on the platforms to help them get a little bit deeper on their squats, get a little bit more range of motion. Now, I see a lot of people using the five pounds or the two and a halfs to put under the heels while they squat. I am not not a fan, right? I'm not not a fan because I agree in some cases it can help, but you know, on the street or if you're in real life or if you're doing something in the world, when you, you know, and you're gonna go step on something, you're gonna go lift something up, right? You're gonna lift a box. When you're like, wait, I can't lift a box. Hold on, can someone find a half inch thing? I gotta put it under my heel real quick before I lift this box. You know, like it, for me, working out's all about being better in the real world, right? It's better about uh, improving your life. So I don't think it's necessarily something to depend on. I don't think you should depend on these shoes or depend on the weight under the heel. Um, you know, practice everything, but with that being said, I enjoy uh, squatting shoes. I enjoy having them. For me personally, as I was Olympic lifting, it helped me get lower in my squat and helped me kind of feel how I should feel with just normal shoes, flat shoes in my in my feet. You know, it's kind of like the training wheels for deep squats, right? Train, uh, squatting shoes are like the training wheels for deep squats. Sometimes people don't have the mobility to get low into a squat uh, without them especially in the beginning. They have tight hips, they have tight uh, tight um, ankles, tight Achilles tendons, tight calves. So they actually, they, their heels will lift off the ground if they try to go that low. So the heels on the squatting shoes will actually help that. So my recommendation is to do them, use them. If you're not already sold on it, it didn't sound like you were sold on it. It sounded like you were, you were like, you know, you were curious if it actually worked. If you're curious, I wouldn't necessarily get them unless you are competing in Olympic weightlifting because everyone else is going to use those so i wouldn't say don't use those but if you're talking about just in in general like you need them as an extra workout shoe i don't think so i don't think you need squatting shoes as an extra shoe you know use the five pound plates as you know extra buffers or training wheels until you get a little flexibility in the calves a little bit more mobility in the ankles and then you'll be able to get a little bit lower with your normal nikes or with your normal shoes right with your i shouldn't have said nike adidas or even, I don't know, because Malik might have a shoe coming out. You never know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, you know, shoes are necessary. Like, you don't have to depend on them. Uh, they do help. I will say that. They do help. But you shouldn't depend on them. So, with the shoes, you don't have to. But maybe you'll get them for Christmas this year, David. You never know. You never know. But those are the two questions uh, for today's episode. Um, number one, if you're watching this on replay, put down in the comments down below. But number one was if you hate an exercise, can you eliminate it altogether from your routine? And then the second question, squatting shoes. Worth it? Find out here. Thank you guys for watching. Now this would be the portion where I do the Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, you guys put them down in the comments. I'll do a little Q&A. Usually I do it for about five, 10 minutes. Um, if, there's, if there's a question on the replay, I'll answer it next video. Uh, but if you guys wanna ask a question while I'm here, this is the live portion. And as we start getting these going, I'm hoping that these start popping off. You know, I'm you know, I'm gonna have to start slowing down the questions, you know. But right now, ask your questions. Um, any question. I think that you guys are getting value from these because it's just raw, it's just you know, there's no editing. Kind of just saying how um, you know how I feel about the questions through my experience. And what I want you guys to do if you're watching this is interact. So I can make these better for you. You know, what do you want to see more of? What are your personal questions? I'm getting these questions of a Facebook group that you might not even want. Maybe you have a question. You're like, why is he answering this? Ask it down below. Ask it down below. But that concludes today's video, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. 
Remember, be certain in your skills, be certain in yourself, and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. I'll see you guys next video.